So through this course, I've shown you how to apply effects to different tracks. But what you can also do is apply effects to specific items and takes. Here, I have two different items, but I want to add different effects to each item. What you can do is select the item, right click, go to take, and then show effects chain for active take. This will bring up your effects window. Let's first add an EQ effect. I want a low shelf on this. Let's drop the gain down and drop the bandwidth down. So I just cut out the low end of that. And let's take a listen while we do this. Let's loop this section here. And I want to drop it down to about there. And add a little bit of a boost there. Drop that down. Maybe add a bit of a peak over there. Okay. On top of this, let's add some of the JS plugins. I quite like the guitar effects here. Let's add the phaser. I'll keep the rate there. And bring these up. Maybe drop this. Just bypass them. And take a listen with the effects. Yeah, that's not too bad. You'll see a little effects icon appears above the item. If you click on that, it brings up the effects chain for that item. Let's jump to the next item. Select the item, right click it, go to take, and go to show effects chain for active take. I could also use the shortcut for this, which is Shift E. Select the item and press Shift E and it brings the effects chain up. Let's add an amp simulation. I'll keep that at that. Change it to stereo. And then maybe add a bit of a reverb. I'll go for the reverberate, pull the room size down and the stereo width. And let's add an EQ as well. Let's do something drastic, do a big dip over here and listen back. Let's add something else. Let's go for something crazy. Let's go to the JS suite and see what we can find here. Go for a delay. I'm happy with that. Let's just bypass to see what it sounded like before and after. Let's listen to these takes again. Let's listen to the first one. Let's take a listen of how the first one goes into the second. That's how to apply effects chains to different takes. What's really nice is to add fades between these items. It creates transitions between the take effects. Let's create some drastic changes here. Pull this item back and then pull this one over here to create this big crossfade effect. Make a selection. This item's effects will fade over onto the next item's effects. Take a listen. How cool is that? You can really go wild with this. It brings some extra control to you when you're composing and producing. Take this drum clip here that I've spliced up. I've got four different take effects on four different items. On the first item, I've got a guitar simulator, I've got a Moog filter and a ring modulator. On this one, I've got a guitar tremolo effect. On this one, I've got a guitar distortion fuzz effect and a phaser. And on the last item, I've got a transient shaper, a wave shaping distortion unit and a Butterworth filter. Take a listen how crazy you can go with these take effects. Crazy, eh? Next we'll take a look at the multi-channel routing of virtual instruments, such as instruments with multiple outputs. Catch you in the next tutorial.